Well, this will just be an example how to blur some part of the picture. And it can also be used to blur uh, some person's uh, skin, uh, which could be very useful. Um, so uh, what we will have here is a picture. We will have to make a duplicate of this uh, layer and that we can do under Windows and Dockable Dialogues and li Layers. And uh, in the Layers menu here, we can make a copy of the background, the only layer existing here. So we take a duplicate of that and we can mark that and go into Filters and make a Gaussian blur on that. I made 25, or maybe that's a bit too much if you should do this as a skin smoothing uh, uh, tool. Uh, but uh, for backgrounds and stuff like that, it might work. So 25 and okay. Now the image will be blurred because the upper um, uh, layer is blurred. So what we want to do now is erase part of the upper layer so we will get to the uh, image below that is sharp and crisp. You can think of this melon as being a person and uh, then you want the eyes to be sharpened. So I take uh, the eraser tool, I bring it up to maximum size and I start to erase. And when I do that it will be not so good because it will be white. The image is lacking an alpha channel. It's the alpha channel that make it possible when you erase uh, a color or something in the picture not to be white and that instead be uh, transparent or this uh, checkerboard pattern. So this will just be a uh, melon with uh, white eyes, not that good. So what we're going to do here is undo erase. And we will go to layer with the upper layer uh, marked here and we will go to transparency and under transparency we'll add alpha channel. If we do that and we now erase, uh, the upper layer will disappear and the layer below it will be visible. So we get a sharper eye here, you can tell on the melon. You can take another eye here, oh, I mean another eye, melon part. And you can also do like a mouth or something like that. Oh, quite easy can make a great difference in uh, like a portrait. So thank you for listening.